Imagine a world where over 40 million people, a tenth of the Earth's population, disappeared, wiped from existence in less than a century. Genghis Khan was not just a conqueror. He was a force of nature that reshaped the entire world. And I'm about to show you how. Genghis Khan's rise to power is a legendary story of tribal warfare, family feuds, and personal struggles. Born around 1162 AD, he grew up in a world of nomadic tribes, where survival depended on one's ability to fight and adapt. Despite being an outcast as a child, Genghis Khan managed to unite the Mongol tribes and create a vast empire that stretched from China to Eastern Europe. The Mongol Empire was unlike anything the world had ever seen. It was a vast, decentralized, and multicultural state that tolerated different religions and ethnic groups. Genghis Khan's military organization, tactics, and communication strategies were way ahead of his time, allowing him to conquer vast territories with ease. At its peak, the Mongol Empire covered over 24 million square kilometers, making it the largest contiguous empire in history. Genghis Khan's conquests not only reshaped the political landscape of Asia and Europe, but also facilitated cultural exchange, trade, and the spread of ideas between East and West. His empire was a dynamic, constantly evolving entity that left an indelible mark on world history. But behind the grandeur of the Mongol Empire lay a trail of destruction, massacre, and devastation. Genghis Khan was a ruthless warlord who would stop at nothing to achieve his goals, and his conquests were often marked by brutality, slaughter, and enslavement. As we explore the conquests of Genghis Khan, we'll delve into the darker side of his legacy and discover the true extent of his destructive power. In the early years of his conquests, Genghis Khan's primary target was China, which was then divided into several warring states. He began by attacking the Tanguts, a powerful state in northwestern China, and swiftly defeated them in 1209. Genghis Khan's military campaigns were marked by speed, stealth, and cunning, often employing spies, scouts, and local informants to gather intelligence on his enemies. One of the key factors that contributed to Genghis Khan's success was his ability to adapt to different environments and opponents. The Battle of Samarkand in 1220 was a pivotal event in Genghis Khan's conquest, marking the peak of his destructive campaign. The city of Samarkand was a center of culture, trade, and learning. The aftermath of Genghis Khan's conquest was marked by devastation, destruction, and chaos. Cities lay in ruins, populations were decimated, and economies were destroyed. The Mongol Empire was eventually divided into four Khanates, each ruled by one of Genghis Khan's sons or grandsons. The Khanates were often at odds with each other, and the empire began to fracture and decline. Despite the devastation caused by his conquests, Genghis Khan's legacy is complex and multifaceted. He was a brutal warlord who brought destruction and chaos to countless regions, but he also facilitated cultural exchange, trade, and the spread of ideas between East and West. In conclusion, Genghis Khan was not just a conqueror. He was a force of nature that reshaped the entire world. His conquests were marked by brutality, destruction, and chaos, but they also facilitated cultural exchange, trade, and the spread of ideas between East and West. So what do you think about Genghis Khan's legacy? Share your thoughts in the comments below, and don't forget to check out our next video on historical figures.